to start off, I'm going to go in and prime with the Ordinary Primer. And this retails at £3.60, so very affordable. And it's also a great product. I use this literally every day on my face before I apply makeup. And it does wonders. It works really well for the um, foundation that I use which I will show you because it does feature in my affordable look today so now that we've got that rubbed in nicely I'm going to move on to the next step which is brows I'm going to be real with you I'm going to cheat with the brows here I'm going in with my normal MAC dip down only because it's the best formula that I've got out there and I haven't found anything to kind of rival it as yet so going with the MAC dip down, I'm going to go and do that off camera seeing that you guys know my routine. If you don't know my routine, I'm going to put my brow video in the description below and you can watch that. But I'm going to go ahead and apply. Alright, so I'm going to cheat and use my Tarte Shape Tape to outline these brows. Um, I'm going to be real with you, I did purchase um, some Maybelline Age Rewind sticks, concealer sticks. But I'm not too sure what I've done with them since I've come home from America. So, and I still haven't packed. I haven't unpacked. It's just so bad. I've probably been home now for about three weeks. And I still haven't packed. Mm, I haven't unpacked. It's so bad. But um, I will get there. All my, to say so, all my um, clothes in the suitcases are clean. Because we had a laundry. Um, we had like a washer and a dryer. So everything's clean. So it's not a case of having dirty clothes in my suitcase. It's just that case of me not unpacking. Only because I'm dreading it and I don't know where I'm going to put the clothes. So <laughs> that's something for me to work on um, sometime in the new year. Yay! <laughs> At least before the next holiday. Um, anyway, moving on. I'm going to do an outline of my brows with the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Deep Sand. This product retails at £22, so it's not an affordable um, product, but one that I would recommend that I do like using in place of this is the... Um, <laughs> the Maybelline sticks, I can't remember which one it was called, Maybelline Fit Me sticks um, in place of this and then I just literally just um, put some setting powder on top of it because it does move a bit more but this product, the reason why I always go back to it is because in my opinion it's the best in the market. So I'm going to stop rambling on and apply this to outline the rails and make them look even more snatched. I'm hoping that everything looks a bit more brighter and if not I'm still kind of fiddling around with these and the lights. I've got some new box lights to try and make things a bit lighter. I'm hoping that you can see things a bit better on camera. I still haven't got my camera but that is coming, it's pending. <laughs> but we're getting there. I'm hoping these lights make everything brighter. As you can see I'm in this highlighter hoodie that I got from Walmart. Um, might do a Florida haul of everything that I got but I'm intending to do more branded hauls but let me know if you want to see in general what I got um, from Florida so just to explain I'm going back in with my shape tape and I'm going to apply it on my eyelids as a base um, so yeah let me know what you want to see I might actually do a little poll um, down below so that you guys can vote on what you want to see next um, but I think my video um, for this Saturday, rather than doing clothing, I'm actually going to do a wig review, a wig unboxing and review. Because um, as I explained before, I did pick up some wigs while I was in the States. And so I thought, why, why not share them with you? And also do a few and unboxing and then we'll do a styling of it as well so that you can see how you can style it how I kind of style my wigs and I can give you my honest opinion first instance they look really good but until you kind of play around with them that's when you kind of get whether a wig is good or not and that's my opinion but 
I'm kind of a girl that doesn't, I don't wear my wigs exactly how they're styled, how they come styled out of the box. I like to kind of play around with them. If I need to cut them, I'll cut them. Um, I know some people don't like that. They just like basically if you paid for something, to just kind of wear it and wear it exactly how it comes. But I'm more of a, I like to dig in deep and kind of mess around a bit more with them. Okay, so this is just, sorry, this is to you. I know most of the time people wear, um, use their wet blue benders, but I like to keep them dry when I do my um, base for my um, for my eyeshadow, just so it kind of just melts in a bit more. And this beauty blender came in a set of four, is it four or five? I think it's four from Primark and there's only three pounds, so get yourself down there. So this is another affordable, and you get different sizes. This is the medium size, you get another smaller one than this, so it kind of get, you can get straight into that corner if you want a sharp line and stuff like that so yeah get yourself down to Primark okay so we're gonna go in first with the shade hair called Chiquitarian it's just this kind of burnt orangey shade hair I'm gonna use that as our transition shade so we're gonna get this kind of fluffy brush I'm gonna go in and get a healthy amount on the brush tap off a bit of the excess and then we're just gonna go in and just apply that just above the brow bone. I can't believe that we are already in 2019. It seems so, so weird. Um, my New Year's was spent indoors because I don't know if you can hear, I've still got a bit of that cold that I contracted on uh, Christmas Eve and it's not budging no matter what I do I've taken so much medicine I've tried drinking some rum as people suggested I've tried brandy um, and it's not shifting and it's like it's it's not a really horrible cold but it's just annoying and then you get lots of phlegm which is just disgusting so I'm just trying to get rid of it because it's doing my head in it really is so that's the goal so far of 2019 if I can remember what year it is it's to get rid of this cold it's so so annoying let me know what you got up to in the description below um, there's a lot going on I can see overnight a few stabbings and stuff like that which is horrible especially for a brand new year to go in and see that that's happened but I'm hoping for the rest of the year things get better in London okay so that's our transition shade on just gonna go in now with this more um, pointy precise kind of brush and apply this shade hey guys which is this kind of brick red kind of um, browny virginal shade I'm just going to apply that in the crease so you want a kind of defined crease colour so I'm just going to apply it on here and tap that shade on yeah so as I was saying my goal so far for this year is to get rid of this cold annoying um, but apart from that I just want to create great content for you guys as well that's a definite goal for me this year so as you can see I've invested in the lights and I'm hoping it's making a difference I won't know until after I fil film this video but I'm hoping it has the camera is progr in progress I'm having problems with the camera to be honest I'll be very honest with you because I just don't know what one to get. I was looking at the Canon 800D and I've been told that's the newest camera that's come out. But can someone, if you know, if you watch this channel if you, and you know about cameras, let me know if that's a good camera or not. Because I don't really know. I don't know and I don't want to spend that level of money 
on the camera if it's not the right one. So, for now, still filming off the phone, which is just as good. So, I've been told, especially um, anyway, in Jessup's, they said, yeah, keep filming off your phone for now until you kind of decide what you want to do. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. I might just have to take a risk and go for anyone. I'm just going to go back in this brush and blend that out into the transition colour so we don't just have that harsh line. Tell me what your goals are for 2019 below. Perhaps we can help each other. I know one of mine, it's just a constant goal for me. But I'm determined to conquer it this year. And it's weight loss. Um, I started it last year, didn't stay consistent. And now this year, I'm just like, yeah, I have to get back on it. So I'm helping, holding myself accountable for what I put in my mouth. I also want to just kind of give up quite a few things like sugar is one of them so don't, no sweets no chocolate which will be challenging I know when it comes to my period time because that's when us ladies crave chocolate and sweets if you didn't know it out there guys if you didn't know that's why you see so many women are craving that sort of stuff around that their cycle time um, so it's gonna be a challenge because you know sweets is life for me okay so I'm gonna do a combination of hey guys and too much no shade no no tea no shade which is this black shade hair and I'm just gonna go and define that crease color a bit more because I want that to kind of be the focus of this look. I'm just going in with this flat brush to kind of define it a bit more. Okay so I'm gonna go in now and blend that all out. Okay so I've gone ultra smoky with this look so far which wasn't the plan but we're gonna make it work. So I'm going to go in anyway now with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan Deep Sand and I'm going to do a cut crease. I'm going to just do halfway because we don't want to take away all of the smokiness that we've created. I'm just going to go in with my normal brushes, so the brush that I use to do my um, um, eyebrows to do the concealer part. So I'm just going to go in. And what you do, you just apply some at the bottom here. You can actually do this with an applicator, it might actually be easier. Take it to about here, I think. I'm going to look up. As you can see, it's just created its own line, so you're just going to follow that line that guide and apply the rest Oop. make sure that your hair doesn't get in it it's going to follow that line that is naturally created I want to add in some shimmer and some lightness so I'm going to go straight into this aqua green sort of turquoisey colour and as you can see I'm using the same brush and there's a reason that it just helps but I think to help everything blend in a bit better when you use the same brush so this one's called Shook so I'm going to go in with that so I'm just going to grab my little bronzer that's got my mirror on it and I'm just going to go in and just apply it just right next to our outer corner you want that shade to blend in kind of seamlessly so it doesn't look so sharp but it's going to be like a little accent colour for us okay, so we've got our green green colour going on 
which looks really nice gives that nice little pop now I'm gonna go in with the shade YOLO which is this dark emerald green shade so pretty I actually used this shade the it for the first time the other day and I'm so impressed these shades these like eyeshadows they're so creamy and pigmented it's just kind of shocking the fact that this palette costs eight pounds 95 it's crazy so I'm going to go in with this Yolo shade I think as you can see I'm applying with the same brush I'm just doing a tapping motion to get that on there. So, so creamy. I went to Westfield the other day with my mum for the first time in probably about six months plus. I've seen they've opened the new side of it. I know the last time I was there they were doing renovations which kind of was like a nightmare because you couldn't go down certain parts and then I remember I once I think with my friend um need to get some stuff for her wedding and we got lost trying to get back to the car park and this time now it's like it's all opened basically where they were doing renovations so they've added like a more affordable side like in the one in Stratford and so you've got like Primark which is quite a big Primark. Um, to be fair, I wasn't really a fan of it. It's a, a bit of a weird Primark. Everything seems like it's all over the face, and I just wasn't a fan of it. So, and then they've got like Bershka has moved over to that new side as well. They've got Monkey, which is such an Instagrammable store. If you ever go to um, Westfield in White City and want to take some like really cool Instagram photos in the store then I'd say go to Monkey. Not I'm promoting to do that, you need to probably ask their permission to take photos before you do but it's just so cool especially like the stairs and um, there's some stairs going on to the second level um, it's just so nice all these mirrors and just like the whole vibe it just seems really Instagram so if you're Instagram and you want to kind of take some cool pictures and maybe get in touch with monkey and see if they'll let you and then we also went to have dinner at Wagamama's which was like so busy um, so much so that they were just bringing out the food as and when it was ready which we didn't really mind um, but the couple next to us they were complaining which I kind of understand they had like a little child um, so the dad got his dinner first and mum and the child were waiting um, not that he waited to eat his food he had already ate his food <laughs> he's just like complaining after he'd finished at eating and noticed that they hadn't ate that you know the food was late but I understand it was at the end of the day it was busy so what can you expect really parking as usual there was just like total chaos um, but we eventually found quite a good space um, <clears throat> there's so much for me to do this yeah talking about parking I need to get a new car so I might take you guys out for when I'm car shopping so you can car shop with me um, I think I've got an idea of what vehicle I want I just want to make sure that it is the vehicle for me I'm having problems with my current car um, which is such a disappointment because I had such a good experience with basically I drive a VW I had such a good um, experience with VW in the past now they've kind of gone downhill and I've noticed it from since the last time that I did a lease and contract so I've kind of completely I'm completely done with them to be honest so um, I'm gonna maybe look at moving on to getting a Jeep um, as you guys know if you don't know if you don't follow me on Instagram 
I actually drove a Jeep um, for my during my last holiday in Orlando and really enjoyed it so I'm thinking of investing in one and Jeeps aren't just like normal cars basically they're ones that you kind of build onto yourself so you kind of get the body and then like you add on to it so I'm looking into it and seeing if it's really worth it for me also I have to consider how much use I'm going to get out of it, out of it. at the moment as you guys know I'm in commuting I'm commuting on the train and stuff like that so I'm not actually getting much use out of my car um, so I need to make sure that it's the economically best thing for me to do is to kind of invest in a car like that so yeah that's kind of where my head is at at the moment I'm just gonna go back into no tea no shade and just kind of blend that in a bit more I think it's just a bit more of a harsh line so I just want it to kind of blend in a bit more so it's not so harsh so I'm just going to do a light line um, on my eyes I'm not going to go in too harshly with the eyeliner so I'm just going to use this Morphe dark room lip um, eye pencil basically because um, I don't want to define line I just kind of want it to remain on that smoky vibe that we've got going on with the eyes here so I'm just going to go in and just do a straight line and um, not too defined straight line just kind of smoke it out a bit more and then we'll be back just to let you know this pencil retails at £4.50 my advice to you is to get the set which is more economically friendly um, the set I think retails at £15 and you get 9 no you get 10 pencils maybe and it's a combination of lip liners and um, eye eyeliner pencils but I'll put the description and the price in the description box for you guys. Right, just going to go in with the diamond dip from the X Thule slash Lottie London collaboration. That's just these diamond um, pots. It's like gold glitter pots. Um, Too Faced do a similar project which I do have, which is the Peel Off Gold Liner. Um, it's a great project. I have nothing bad to say about it. it's just that this is a cheaper version and also just kind of gives you the option to do like if you want to do all glitter eye then you can literally do that with this so it's just a loose glitter pot and um, it's all easy to use because um, it's just great gel kind of type formula as you can see I'm going back in the same brush and trying to be true to you guys and then use affordable products here so and then there's not a thinner brush in this I'm afraid from this collection um, so I'm going to go in and take some of this glitter and I'm just going to pop it first just in the inner corners here And then a bit just here. And now with as steady as a hand as I can, I'm going to go ahead and take it along that crease line that we've got here. So I'm going to start from here. I'm going to be ultra gentle. See that's coming through. I'm gonna stop just there. So we've just got a nice kind of it just adds that extra bit of shim to that look, the extra bit of glamour to the look. I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Oh, no. Right, time for some mascara. This is the Maybelline Push Up Drama Full Seas. Full Seas Push Up Drama, however you call it. Retail price for this product is around £6. It's my favourite drugstore mascara. I've got a lot more mascaras to share with you because I actually bought 
if you're based in America then you know that Sephora bought out for Christmas this mascara set um, and it's got everything from the bad girl bang and the two fairies better than sex mascara so I want to try those out with you guys um, some of them I have tried out some of them I haven't so I'll give you my honest opinion and um, the only one that I didn't have in there that I really want to try it is the NARS Climax is it NARS? I think so the Climax mascara um, but we'll try that out another time <laughs> right so I'm just going to go in and apply a layer of this on the lashes I'm going to go ahead now and use the ordinary um, coverage foundation in 3.1 white as you guys know this is my go to foundation and it's at the bargain cost of £5.90 can't go wrong with this I love this formula the reason why I love it is because it gives the coverage but it's lightweight as well which is just a whole plus for me so I'm going to go ahead apply this and I'll be back okay back in with the shape tape and I'm just going to apply it in the normal places it's so dark out today I don't know why well, I do know why it's winter in, we're in London but it's just not inspiring at all when it's this like this but what can we do I cannot recommend these sponges more they are so good for the price can really kind of get in there to those little spots that you can't with a normal big beauty blender so if you can get your hands on them it's so good right so I couldn't find a contour stick because I prefer contour stick than the cream based contour um, a liquid based contour so I'm just going to nix it, I'm not going to use any contour which is just not like me I'm hoping this will work but we're going to try it out so no contour I'm going to go straight into just bronzing and because I haven't got any contour I'm probably going to bronze the hell out of myself so this is the NYX um, matte bronzer I absolutely adore this bronzer I don't know if they still sell it because I got it as one of the, on their website as one of their end of line products I don't think they still do but they probably do something like it it's so good it's so hard to find bronzers for black women and this is one that is definitely ideal for us girls so get your hands on them and this was only <clears throat> I'm going to say £5.95 but it might have been a little bit less or more um, but such good bronzer um, I kind of generally say NYX is a, is a drugstore brand now so and it, that kind of makes it affordable I suppose it doesn't, it doesn't I'm going to go in with this brush and bronze the face Who needs contour when you've got a bronzer like this? <laughs> it's so good for a drugstore bronzer. The reason why I say NYX is for drugstore, tell me if you don't agree with me, is because it's now like in places like Boots. And in Boots they've got quite a good selection, so <clears throat> I generally regard it as drugstore, but you might disagree with me and that's just giving my face angles yep 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 as you guys can probably tell I don't know if I've mentioned this already but I'm really struggling with this cold I'm just over it ready for it to go now I'm just so ready for it to go. It's just making sleeping. 
not non-existent it's making everything i hardly had anything to drink over christmas because of it which is good um because i'm not a major drinker to be honest but it was just a right letdown right, i'm gonna go in and apply a little bit of powder on my face and i'm just gonna use this air spun um it's a loose powder that i picked up in walmart for the bargain price of five something right well, it's five something in walmart basically um i'm not too sure how much it actually costs over here but um definitely have it in walmart so if you're in america then i would definitely recommend this as a drugstore slash cheaper version of Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, it works just as well it's actually got a little scent to it I'm not a major lover of scents but I really don't mind this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of powder set my thing in and it kind of just does its job as you can see if you compare that side to that side it kind of just melds in really nicely and does its job and that's all that we can ask for as girls right, I'm gonna go in and add some glow which is always my favorite part so it's um, this master chrome highlighter from Maybelline and um, I've picked this up in Ulta I believe they were $5.99 each and at the time they were doing the promotion buy one get one 50% on off on all Maybelline products so I bought this one and another one and then I picked up some other stuff from Maybelline which you'll see in another video but I'm going to go ahead and apply that good good highlight oh this is very nice you can see it's very golden this one is actually called molten gold i believe is it molten gold yep so it's number 100 molten gold very nice very nice i do say so myself it a bit there as you can probably tell with this video I haven't gone in my normal order just because I just like to change things up now and again so we are going to go back to the eyes after this and finish off the eyes because the eyes are not fish finished as you can tell so I'll we'll go put that to those right back with the living my best life palette and we're gonna go in with the shade no tea no shade which is our dark shade which is normal i'm gonna go in and just make that out here i forget how i forgot how concentrated this color is it's not your usual black that will take a while to apply this goes literally straight on And do the same on the other eye perfect now we're going to go into our green shade which is yolo using the same brush a bit of yolo take it from there And do the same on this eye. I'm going to go back into the mascara and coat the bottom lashes. I would say when I used this look, when I wore this look, because I created something similar to it. Um, I went with no lashes, so I'm going to go in with my Sosu lashes from Primark and these are five pounds a bit more than a normal lash you can get one pound lashes from um, 
Primark which are quite good but I love these lashes only because they're such good quality get a lot of wear out of them and I just find them so comfortable so these are the so so lashes in the shade in the style Dubai I'm gonna pop these on and I'll be back. So I'm gonna go in now and do the lips and with the lips I'm gonna go really simple one of my favorite things at the moment is using brown lipstick and this is a cheaper dupe for the Fenty um, unveiled lipstick that I use most of the time that I've used most of in mostly in my winter looks and it's NYX lingerie um, matte lipstick in the shade beauty mark before we go in this i'm going to go ahead and line my lips just going to grab a lip liner which is probably going to be one of my morphe ones today we're going in with bite me which is a lip liner from morphe um as i said these retail for 450 um but if you can wait until you can get the set um because it's a bit more um it saves you a few more pennies so i'm just going to go straight in and line okay so that's our lips lined now i'm going to go straight in with beauty mark okay so i think that's a bit too dark for me so one of my tricks that i like to do is just go in with some concealer and just hurt some on This is also a good technique if you want a nude lipstick but are un you're not unable to find your exact shade of nude. That's better. Okay, so this is the final look. I quite like it. It's a bit different for me. I feel like something's off, but I quite like it, to be honest. Um, bit of concealer's gone astray there but we'll fix that up later um i can't fix the eyes unfortunately i'm so sick right now but um i had to come back with a video for you guys i couldn't leave you guys hanging again it's 2019 and consistency is key in my book <laughs> anyway enough of me rambling thank you guys for once again for tuning in please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one